Hello and welcome to episode 5 of our Unity Let's Make a 2D Survival Sandbox Platformer game. Today we will be working on placing blocks. Let's begin in our inventory script where we will need to add another text object called selection text. This text we will use to determine which object we have selected. Now we actually need to create the text object, so create a UI text. It will be centered into the top center at an X position of 0 and a Y position of negative 25. Make sure to set the, uh, in the text the horizontal overflow to overflow and vertical overflow to also overflow. Then increase the font size until it is readable. Make sure to center it in both this, the middle center of both. Change the font size to where it looks the best to you and the color to white. Then on the character game object, drag the selection text down to where it says selection text. Now to actually select blocks, we need to have an int called selected tile. We'll use this to determine which tile is selected, but we need to have some parameters. It can never be less than zero, and it can never be more than six because it's a new integer of length seven and it counts from zero. And to finish this if statement, it can never be less than zero. So if selected tile is less than zero, we want to set it to counts.length minus one. Because since computers count from zero, the largest number in a seven length integer array will be six. It also cannot exceed six. So if selected tile is greater than counts.length minus one, we want to set it to zero. And now for actually going about selecting the tiles. So if input dot get key down, we will use the up and down arrows. So key code dot up arrow and input dot get key down key code dot down arrow. In the up arrow, it will be selected tile plus plus, and in the down arrow, it will be selected tile minus minus. Now we need a system for the computer to know which tiles are which. So we'll have a string array called names equals a new string array. It will contain the members dirt, grass, stone, coal, iron, gold, and diamond. Now that the computer knows what they're called, we actually need to tell it what the tiles are. So you'll have game object, um, a public game object array, public game object array, call it tiles equals a new game object array. It will be of length 7, because that's how many tiles we have. Returning to the character, you will see the new tiles pop-up box, and we'll be able to add our tiles. So, tile dirt, tile grass, tile stone, and for the resource tiles, you'll have um, tile coal, tile iron, tile gold, and tile diamond. Now that we have the tiles implemented into the script, all we need is a method to place them, which will be done with right click. So if input dot get mouse button down one because one is the right mouse button, we will create a new vector three called mouse pause equals camera dot main dot screen point to screen to world point. And that's going to be the input dot mouse position. So what this does is it turns the mouse pos the mouse's position on the screen into a point in the world. But uh, an issue with my testing revealed that the z component of this vector is always negative five, which is bad. So we're going to have vector three place pause equals new vector three. The x component is going to be the mouse. Pause's x component, same with the y, 
and the Z component is going to be 0F. Now we're going to have game object new tile equals instantiate. Um, it's going to be tiles in the position selected tile at the position place pause and with a rotation of quaternion dot identity. And this will be instantiated as a game object. The issue with this is it will allow it to be placed anywhere. So what we're going to have is mathf.round the mouse position x and mathf.round the mouse position y. An issue that we can have here is blocks placing on top of each other. So we're going to have if physics 2 overlap circle all. So this is going to return a, a list of all the colliders that are overlapping with a radius of um, the, the point that it's going to test from is going to be the place pause and the radius is going to be 0.25f. If this list of colliders has a length of 0, meaning that there are no colliders in the list, we'll place our new tile. And just one more thing before we demonstrate, we want to know what tile we've actually selected. So it'll be selection text dot text equals, it's going to be selected tile. And then we're going to add in um, names in the position selected item or selected tile. And welcome to the demonstration of our new feature that we've just created. So you can see that if I press the up and down arrows, the selected tile changes and it cycles around if I reach the end. Now say you want to build something and see that I'm placing the diamond door here. It's an interesting way to get free diamonds. You can see the diamond counter in my inventory increasing. But you can theoretically build anything in two dimensions with this. So say I want to resurface this land to be a bit flatter. I can do that just by going like this. And smooth out any bumps or hills. And you can use stone to build kind of a little shelter here. It's not the nicest shelter, but it works. You can break the walls and you don't get stuck on the ground. You can go in and even change out the floor. Thank you for watching this episode of Let's Make a 2D Survival Sandbox Platformer Game. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Support on Patreon if you really enjoyed the episode. And I will see you in the next episode.